Hey guys, Manny back here with another video on the Cascade Sense Fragrance Station and today I have another very special first impressions for you yet again and this time we're going to look at some fragrances from the House of Zoologist Perfumes. They are a Toronto based indie perfume house who specialize in making fragrances based on actual animals. So today's first impressions will be on their new stuff and here it is. Shout outs to Victor Wong of Zoologist Perfumes who I got this from last weekend. But yeah, we might as well get the show on the road. We'll take a look at which one we will go with now. And this one is called Macaque. So we might as well go ahead and get this open. So I'm just gonna, you know, roll with it. One, two, three. Okay. Decent spray. Whoo! Whoa, that's bomb. Oh, this one you gotta air out because I'm already getting it. Whoo! To be honest, right off the bat, I wouldn't expect anything else from the House of Zoologists because damn, do these things perform. But already on skin, this is hella more wearable than I initially thought it was going to be. I thought it would be a little bit too adventurous for me, but you know, this is pretty nice. I am a tea lover, of course, and I'm definitely getting that here, which is really cool. But yeah, for now, all I can say is that this is one you definitely don't want to overspray. Everything in moderation. Now I can imagine that if you wear two or three sprays of this stuff and people are just getting whiffs of you, it's going to be a head turner. And I don't think it's off-putting at all. I think it's pretty good. I'm actually wanting to wear this now. But yeah, overall I think I like it. It's equal parts green, you have some musk in there, and some fruity freshness. Not a whole lot of that though. But yeah, I can definitely picture myself wear this when I'm just in the mood to just chill inside or something like that. You know, just kicking back with a few friends over a cup of tea or coffee and we're just talking and just, you know, it's just that kind of scent to me. So yeah, for now, I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. That's Macaque by Zoologist Perfumes. So that must mean this one is... Nightingale. So without further ado, we might as well get to it. One, two, three. Okay. Alrighty, right away. It's definitely a floral, woody scent. Don't think I've specifically ever smelled plum blossom before, but from what I am smelling right now, I think I really like it. And I'm borderline blown away <laughs> because most floral ouds that I know are kind of unwearable for my most situations. But I would actually walk around with this daytime or nighttime, casual or formal. Yes, I would say it is my favorite one out of the two. But that being said, I think Macaque is also very good. Again, these are first impressions. Take this with a grain of salt, guys. Definitely go out and try these yourself. You know, whenever they do drop in public. I'll be looking forward to that. If you guys have any constructive criticisms, please leave them in the comment section below as well as if you have any kind words. And please tell me which fragrances from Zoologist Perfumes are you most looking forward to try or which ones are your favorite. I'll be looking forward to reading those responses. Also, if you guys want to support this channel, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. And until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Peace out. Bye. Next up, Deep Blue Something. Fragrance. No, it's a 90s rock band from America. Wow, okay, man, I'm, I'm not doing too well. <laughs> well, the company has some really unusual names. In my opinion, more of a novelty house.